mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the biggest snowflake of them all? Well, it has to be Donald Trump. Oh, well, Trump seizes, though, on an opportunity of a likely indictment. He's going to be arrested with a bit of luck. And maybe he's waterboarded. But we know what he said about waterboarding. He was quite Would clean. I approve waterboarding? You bet your ass I'd approve it. What else did he bet say? your ass. In a heartbeat. And then they say to me, what do you think about waterboarding? I say, I think it's fine. I like it. Oh, do you know, you saucy old devil, you Donald Trump, who happens to like waterboarding? Well, I just hope they do. Well, Donald Trump is seizing on the opportunities that are arising from this um, likely indictment. He's passing out the old begging bowl for his 2024 campaign. Yeah, the ex-president attempts to capitalise on anticipated charges over hush money payments to Stormy Daniels. Oh, well, it goes deeper than that, but it does. Keep it in the family is what you do, according to Donald uh, Trump. Well... Donald Trump is attempting to capitalise on his anticipated arrest over hush money payments to an older adult, you know, an old <laughs> film star, by bombarding his supporters with fundraising emails, just requests, give me money, is what he's saying, to support his uh, presidential election campaign. I wonder if he'll be nominated. Well... In a series of messages in recent days, Trump and his acolytes have uh, urged people to donate to Trump. Hmm. And his, well, Save America Joint Fundraising Committee, established to support the Trumps, bid for president in 2024. Well, the emails paint Trump as a victim of a political agenda. Uh, a varying cast of globalist power brokers. And a witch hunt. Crazed radicals, he says. Yeah, each ends with a plea for donations. Give me money! Well, the different language used, well, it's changing each time. Now, if this uh, political persecution goes unchallenged, one day, it won't be me they'll be targeting. It will be you. And you'll get waterboarded too. Hope you like it. Well, that's what he said in an email from Trump. The supporters, that was on Sunday. Well, the fundraising attempt comes as the grand jury prepares itself to deliver a verdict on whether to indict Trump over his alleged, uh, yeah, I've got to say alleged, but we know it's true, role in the uh, hush money payments to Stormy Daniels, who claims that the pair slept together. Why would you? Unless you're being paid. Well, Trump denied that he had, se um, had sex with Stormy Daniels. And Stormy Daniels said, oh, yes, we did, and we did this, and we did that, and we did some, well, golden showers. We did all sorts of stuff. We did. Well, you know what he's like. He grabbed a boy, then you know what? That's what he did. Well, over the weekend, Trump claimed uh, he would be arrested on Tuesday. But his um, representatives later said that he was um, well, citing media reports and leaks. Well, it's quite funny to see them outside New York and there all these fence and it was all going out, uh, come out inside the courts and stuff, you see. Like crowd control, Major Tom. Well, yeah, citing media reports and leaks and had um, no information about a potential um, arraignment. Well, the barrage of emails from Donald Trump's office yeah, are often written in an urgent and pleading tone, save me, please, or something like that. Or you'll get waterboarded. Well, he says, please make a contribution to save our country, now that the stakes have never been higher. Well, it is accompanied by links to donate up to £250 to the Trump committee. Give me money. But yes, please. You do that down below. There's a Patreon link, you know. Also, you could buy us a coffee if you like. Yeah, that's, that's mine, that is. I'm pleading, though. Yeah. And if you, please, I'll boot the old like button. Helps the channel, you know. Well, <laughs> they also strike a tone 
of conspiracy theory. Oh, <laughs> what, Trump? Never. I don't believe you. Well, this is in the Guardian. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, these are truly dark times. It began in an email sent by Trump on Monday. The Deep State and George Soros. Paying for James O'Brien, apparently. Globalist cabal of bugs, he says. Think that were by coming for me, they can intimidate you. Ooh. Out of voting for a president who will always put the people first. Oh. Yeah. Make America great again. I couldn't find a red hat. Make America great again. Well, and they will intimidate you out of voting for a president that will always put the people first. That's what he said. So please make a contribution of just one dollar or as much as you want to give today to cement your place as a founding defender of our movement in what truly is the darkest chapter of our nation's history. Now, Trump's pleas for money could make sense given his um, relatively poor fundraising so far. Well, they never got to build that wall, did they? No, and Steve Bannon got arrested because it was fraud. They pocketed the money. Well, between 15th of November 2022, when Trump announced his um, run for president, and the 31st of uh, December 2022, Trump, uh, well, his campaign... Um, said that he uh, had raised $9.5 million, or 201600 a day. Oh, brag, 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 brag. That's what he likes to do. Yeah, he's bigly, you see. He's all bigly with tiny hands. Yeah. He's like Deadpool when his hands get chopped off, and they start growing back, and his little feet... Yeah, anyway, let's not go there. And his little... Yeah, whatever. Well, the New York Times um reported that the total pile in comparison to the amounts raised by previous presidential frontrunners like Jeb Be um, Bush and um, uh, Hillary Clinton. Oh, but the suck of the blood of children. In the basement of a pizzeria, apparently. Well, in this 2016 campaign, Bush also, who entered the race as the uh, favourite, raised an average of around $762,000 a day after announcing his candidacy. I don't think Trump is as popular as he thinks he is. Well, Clinton averaged around £594,400 mm, a day following her 2016 announcement. All of those emails. Well, on Tuesday, as barriers were placed around the Manhattan Criminal Courthouse, oh, I saw it, mm, in New York City, an email from the Trump's re-election campaign shared a photo of the scene in another fundraising email. Oh, look, they're after me. They want to do crowd control because I'm so popular. When I get arrested. Capitol Hill, anyone? Mate, be the man there with horns. Now he got arrested. He's in prison. <laughs> That'll teach him. And then you got the other who well, stormed the Capitol Hill with his taser and his guns. Yeah. There's his taser in his pocket. He tasered his balls. And then he had a heart attack and died. <laughs> I can't make this shut up. You're really can't. You think of playing politics in the United Kingdom is mad? Well, just look across the pond. Well, <laughs> oh God. so Trump's re-election campaign shared a photo of the scene in another fundraising email. Ask his supporters, please make a contribution, please make a contribution to stand with the President Trump at this critical moment while he's wearing his orange one-piece suit. His prison onesie, <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> Can you imagine that with his, uh, well, yeah, his comb over. Oh, God, what for? Pick up the soap. No, don't do it. Oh, Stormy Daniels has been there. Well, anyway, the... Uh, well, that's with a strap. Oh, did I say I did? Sorry. Anyway, the email again contained um, links to donate to, to Trump's Save America Joint Fundraising Committee. Uh, Trump's um, principal ca uh, campaign arm, the committee had just $3.8 million cash on hand at the end of 2022, according to his filings with the, the Federal Election Commission, despite having raised more than $151 million over the previous two years. They've lost faith in Trump. He's no longer Trumpian. Anyway, I'll continue after that. No, I don't know what I was saying there, but there you go. So the committee spent $141 million over that period, including the 1696 1, payment to the Trump Hotel collection. Oh, really? Oh, I wonder what he's doing with the money. Pocketing it. 
Now, I also spent thousands on do- thousands of dollars advertising on Facebook and Newsmax, the right wing news channel, mm. which champions Trump on a near daily basis. Oh, Trump, you're so great. Oh, look at your bigly hands. Well, book purchases accounted for a surprising amount of expenditure on books. Did they actually read? Have you seen them? I don't think they, they can read. They're all illiterates. If you support Donald Trump, you clearly can't. No. Well, in September 2022, the committee spent 157000 well, almost $158,000 across two purchases just on books alone. But this is, not, well, this is where it gets a little bit uh, risque, I would say. The books are from, well, a retailer, a book retailer called Million, you know, alone. Books, a million, <laughs> on books from the books, a million Books a million retailer. Oh, I say books a million retailer alone. They should have been little, cut, yeah. Well, the books a million website, just several books authored by Trump, all out of stock. Oh, I wonder why. He's buying his own flipping books. <laughs> I can bet you also bought 47,689 uh, dollars worth of. Um, of books from winning team publishing in May 2022. Donald Trump's junior, Donald Trump Jr. is born, his son, the co-founder of the winning team publishing. Oh, keep it in the family. Which, like um, Books A Million, is offering Trump's upcoming book, Letters to Trump. French letters. <laughs> For sale on his website. Yeah, use French letters, anyone? Does anyone want to leave it in the comments down below? Would you purchase a Donald Trump's French letter? I knew a guy once used to sell. That's bizarre. This was an Anglian advertiser in the United Kingdom. And he used to sell, um... Strange people. Anyway, you tell me. Please leave it in the comments down below. Do you support Trump? Or are you going to, well, hand over some cash? Donald Trump for his campaign. Are you going to do it for just for a bit of, just for a laugh? Do you just want to see it? Anyway, <laughs> before we go, go, please beep the whole like button and maybe that little bell icon because then you get one fuzzy feeling in your pocket every time I upload another video. Oh my God, I might do a bit more on, you know, on, on the United States. It's such a mess. What do you think? We've got it bad. Even in France, we've got riots everywhere over the uh, pension age. Increases, which I think is ridiculous, but there you go. I don't think they want, yeah, I think we shouldn't be increasing that. Should stick what you got, keep the people happy, and then they'll vote for you. You see, take on their fancies, what you do, you don't screw them over, no, because that's what they feel. Anyway, it's time for me to go, so I say, ta you know. But before we do, please, like I say, boot that old like button and maybe that little bell icon because you get one first video in your pocket every time I upload another video. I hope you'll be excited about that, but also. We're planting trees here in France. Hmm? One thousand trees on two hectares of land. Hmm? If you want to be a part of that, there's a go for me link down below and you buy a tree. And we'll plant a tree on your behalf. And I'll make a sign to go with a tree with a road. I mean, it's woodworker, you see. With a road. Or biography. Could be your name or give me memory of a loved one. Anyway, it's time for me to go because I bet you're going to help the missus, you know. She's out there with mother in law and father in law because they're, they're over. From the UK. I've got them working. <laughs> so I suppose I better show some willing. Ta ta. <laughs> Slaves. Bonus gloves. <laughs> or less. Less glove. Less glove. Maybe. <laughs>